that was me two years ago when I was having internship in France for my master degree in astrophysics. I did try my best to finish my master and I got the good result. But it was a terrible time in my life to be honest. Why? Because I felt stressed and I questioned myself every single day. And I feel like I was not really into this position. And I don't want to be a researcher sitting there reading articles, articles, articles day after day. But at the time, I was so scared to get out of my comfort zone. I wondered, should I continue a PhD after this master? And now I'm here to help her. Hey girl, I'm here to help you. You just need to answer me three questions. The first question is, why did you choose studying astrophysics? Hmm, because it was my dream job when I was a little girl. And any other reasons? Maybe because I was good at physics and math when I was in high school. The second question. What is the favorite part of what are you doing now? To be honest, working with data is one of my favorite parts because every time my supervisor hand me a data and ask me to code to create a model, I was so excited to get the result and I can do it day after day. Alright, last question. Do you think that you can continue this job for the rest of your life? Hmm, that's a difficult question, right? I'm not really sure if I want to be a researcher for the rest of my life, but I'm really into working with data, analyzing data, and coding to create models and some stuff like that. Alright guys, that were three questions that helped me out a lot in changing my major, and that is the reason why I'm here today as a data science student. I hope this video is useful for those who have the same feeling as me two years ago. So my last advice is don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Just do it.